Hey everybody, I'm Corey. And I'm Dana. And welcome to Our Lives Travel. Okay, we got a good one for you today. So we are actually gonna show you some of the things in our RV that we had to replace. So we like to call this the repair, replace, and some nice halves. Um, kind of review just to show you some of the different things that we have done with our RV since we have had Toasty Marshmallow. So let's go check out some of those things. All right, so one of the things that I think is good to have, it's not a must have, but I think it's good to have, is can you see this right here? This right here is one of those edges that they use for child safety. If you own an RV like this, where you have a closet and opening in the drawer, you know this little corner right here will hit you every time. So putting this little baby bumper up here, it doesn't keep you from hitting it, but it means when you hit it, it won't gash your eye out. It'll just, you know, hurt a little bit. So we put those here and on the other side as well. You can see over here. And that just helps us uh, keep hurting ourselves at night if we turn over or suit up or something. So I definitely think that's something that you should look into getting. So another thing that is not a have to, must have, but something that was really nice to have is this fan that we bought. So inside the refrigerator, you can see we have this little tiny little fan right here. It's a little desktop fan that we got from Walmart. It only costs like $7. Um, and it's powered up by USB. So the cord comes down through the, um, the refrigerator and then plugs in down here in the bottom with a little USB uh, adapter. But basically the reason why we bought it is because the refrigerator stays cold, but it doesn't really get cold enough to what I really like. Um, and so what it does is it circulates the air, so that way, um, you know, it just gets good air circulation in there and keeps everything nice and cool. And I found that it's very, very useful. So we just put it in there and leave it on the whole time that we're using the RV, and it's a great thing for you to have. All right, guys, so now I wanna show you another thing that I think is good to have, maybe not have to have, but definitely good to have. All right, it's this storage ottoman. Everybody has storage ottomans in their RV, and some, um, a lot of times they're there so you can have extra storage and things like that. So this one is a little bit different because I know some people have the kind that fold up. What I like about this is it's sturdy enough to actually sit on, so it provides secondary seating. It provides storage like most ottomans do, but it also offers a flip table. So now I have another place where I could sit and have dinner or a popcorn and a drink if we were watching a movie. And so that's just something nice to have. And it's also small enough you can take it outside if you want to or what have you. And we use this really to store stuff that we're using um, for the current trip. So we empty it out each time um, that we leave, but we do keep it in the RV. So that's just one of those things I think is good to have. It also helps because it helps Pop-Tart get up on the bed. Oh yeah, that's a great point. So another reason that we use it, or that we found out it ended up being great, is because our bed is so high off the ground, she uses it as a stepping stool to get up on the bed. And I say the bed, but really her bed, because she, she acts like she owns it. <laughs> so another must have, my personal opinion, but I guess you don't have to, but you wish you did, is this lovely air fryer. Now I know there are tons of air fryers out there, so I'm not buying, uh, so I'm not suggesting which one necessarily should get, but you should have one. So as you know, we don't use our stove and we don't use our oven and not because we can't, but just because there's no need to. An air fryer is so much quicker. So this air fryer actually has three levels in it and it has flat pans, kind of like an oven. We have cooked tofu in here. We have cooked broccoli. We have made cake in here. Don't show it, it's dirty. <laughs> Uh, we've used it recently. Um, <laughs> lived in, remember? Yes, lived in. Yes. <laughs> but I would say, you know, in, unless you're just dying to cook on your oven and stove, this air fryer is great. You can cook in here. You can take it outside if you want to. A lot of people talk about with the oven uneven cooking. Um, and I know you can get a, a, an oven stone to put there, a pizza stone to help with that. Or if you get an air fryer, you just don't have to worry about it all. Just remember to still use your vents. Um, and also, you know, if you got light, you may want to use it, but this has been great. And we just stood it up here on top of our, uh, our stove. All right. So this nice to have item is actually a semicircle carpet. Now, most people probably have the regular size carpet that's kind of square or rectangular in there, but it doesn't fit in, um, this particular bathroom with the circular shower. So I was actually able to find a bath mat that fits right up against the shower. You can see it's circular too, so I can actually push it completely up against 
the shower and it actually fits this bathroom really good. Now what I will say is I don't love the actual mat in terms of it being nice and plush, but because I have this one, I know that if I get another mat, I could probably just cut it to size um, so that it fits and it's the same shape. That shape is perfect. Hey guys, all right. So you know how I told you every trip we've been on, there's something that we had to fix or repair or replace. All right, so let me show you one of the things that we had to do on one of our trips. And that was this molding right here. I don't know exactly what happened, but by the time we got it home, it was just like hanging completely off. And I thought it would be really hard to replace, but it's not. You can get like a hundred inches, feet, I don't remember what it was, on Amazon for a couple bucks. It wasn't too expensive. And basically, you're just gonna come in here, and I took this little piece out so you can see, but you just put it in here and route it through this little channel. One thing to note is when you're putting it in here, you're gonna wanna squeeze it. I wish I had a piece to show you. Oh, thank you. My assistant brought it, so let me show you this. So when you get this, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be a whole bunch of this. When you go to put this in, we tried to put in the top and then the bottom and slide in. That doesn't work. What you need to do is actually squeeze it and bend it like this. Can you see that? When you bend it like this, it slides in that channel so easily, it'll be no problem to replace. So, if you see me on the street, you need some of this, just let me know, I got plenty. <laughs> so another thing that we fixed or slash repaired was the locks that are actually on the RV. So on the storage compartments of the RV, you have these little locks that everyone has, right? And then you also have a keyed lock usually right here. So we took the keyed lock and we actually replaced it with a combination lock because those keys, you know, they you can open up any camper with those keyed locks. So just to add a little bit more safety, we chose these and you just use a combination. I'm not gonna tell you what that combination is. It is not my weight. <laughs> and it is not my height <laughs> or my birthday. So, we just use the combination locks and then just open it like so. And you can see on the inside, it's the same, you know, backing as the uh, older locks, you know, very similar. So it's very easy to replace. Uh, just unscrew the old ones and then insert these new ones. Uh, it's a little trick. It can be a little tricky to see in there, but Got them off of Amazon. Don't remember exactly what price, but the link should be in the bottom below. So, combination locks. Good idea. So another thing that we bought that is not something that you have to have, but we feel like it was a great buy, is this Honey Wagon, which is basically a portable holding tank. Uh, it's by Camco Rhino. Um, and basically what it is is so that way, if your gray and your black tanks fill up, this allows you to be able to attach it with the hoses that came with it and empty your gray and your black tank and then tow this to the dumping station and get rid of all that waste. Um, so it's a great way so you don't have to hook up your trailer if you're staying somewhere extended period of time and hook up your trailer, take it to the dump station and then bring it back to your site and level it and all that other kind of stuff. Like that's a pain, like who wants to have to do that? So this I feel like it's a must have. Um, something that you don't have to have but I think it's a great buy. Um, the link for this should be in the description now below. Um, and like I said, it's by uh, Camco Rhino. This is the 28 gallon model because our holding tanks are 30 gallons and it just hooks on to the back of our RV here, of our RV ladder, just hooks up there and we were able to attach it with these uh, tie cables, I guess is what you wanna call them, these straps. We had a couple of those, we use those to hang it on. You take this arm right here, and you just attach it to the uh, ball hitch of your um, of your truck and just tow it down the road. You can only go about maybe five miles an hour with this thing, um, but it just attached right there and you just tow it behind your vehicle like you're towing a wagon and it's fantastic. So look up Honey Wagon for RV or look up a uh, portable holding tank and you should be able to find this. Well, just found a reason to use the Honey Wagon. The gray tank is full. So let's show you how this actually works. The first thing you need to do is open up this vent right here to let some of the air get out, the pressure get out. What you wanna do is you have this short hose right here. You wanna connect this part to one end. 
like that. Can make this part. You got your clear elbow, so that way you can see the liquid coming into your tank. So that way you know, you know, it's when it's empty, when it's getting close to empty. Okay. And you're gonna connect it to this end right here. Just like that. So you see, this end will go to your your uh, sewer tank. I mean, this end will go to your black and gray tank holding holding tank on your RV. And this end goes on to the Camco um, portable tote. So now that we've got the elbow attached to the holding tank, we take the other end of our um, hose. And what we're gonna do is make sure that both our gray and our black valves are actually closed. If you have these things open and you take this cap off, uh, you're gonna have a major problem. <laughs> take this cap off right here. It takes a little elbow grease. Take that cap off, okay? You take the cap off of this one. Attach it to here. This valve is open or loose to let some of the air pressure out. You want to make sure this side is closed. Okay. And then your clear elbow, your hose goes all the way up here and then attached to your holding tank. And both my valves, the gray and the black, are closed. Now we're going to open up the gray and release all that pressure. Now that's all sink and shower water. Take the hose off, put the cap back on, drag it to your truck, and then this part, this little guy right here, the little arm, that just latches right onto your pitch ball, boom, tow it off to the dump. Then when you get to the dump, you'll take the hose on the side over here, same hose on the side over here, connect it to the to the sewer hole and then just pull this valve right here there's a valve on this side you just pull that valve and all the water and stuff comes out and then you've got this top part right here where you can connect a water hose to it so that way you can flush everything out inside the tank so when you put the black in here you want to hook the water hose up to this part and flush everything out and that's pretty much it and when you're done put it back up on the ladder so one of the things that we had to fix that was a pretty big deal was fixing the vent, um, the, the vent of the bathroom up on top of the roof. So the arm, for lack of a better word, uh, that holds the, the vent open broke. And so we had to order a new part. Uh, the link should be in the uh, description below of the part that we had to buy. I had to climb up on the roof and actually repair it. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Um, it really wasn't expensive for us to order, but it was kind of an ordeal for me to figure out what piece was broken and what we had to actually fix. Cause we turned the knob on the inside of the bathroom and it would just pop up and then fall right back down, pop up and then fall right back down and it never stay open. And that vent is very important to make sure that it's working properly to get all the smells and stuff from your toilet out. Because if not, all that exhaust and all those smells will stay into your entire cabin. It will fill your entire cabin. And let me tell you, it smells horrible. So make sure that that vent is actually working. So I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like up on the roof and show you the part that we actually had to fix. See this piece right here? Right here. This is the piece that I had to replace. So this piece right here, this mechanism, is what's attached to the inside lever that makes this vent stay open and closed. See how it's propped open right there? This is what keeps this from staying open and closed. And so uh, this was all rotted out and it looked like it had broke off and someone had glued it back together with like cement glue or something. So when I came up here and looked at the old one and I may have a picture of it still or video, it crumbled in my hands as I unscrewed this. So we bought this piece online 
and again we're gonna have the uh, link to the piece in the description below and you just come in here and you replace these two you know up, unlock these two screws put it in there it's really easy to replace and now it stays open this is very 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 important to have that open when you are using the bathroom because uh you don't want that smell inside of your rv so just wanted to give you a brief look at what i had to replace all right guys so tell us what did you think of our list now we didn't want to overwhelm y'all so you know there are a lot of other things that we had to repair replace and of course a lot of things that i felt were must-haves <laughs> um but we just want to show you a few of them i will make sure i put the links down in the description of this video and if you know of any other things that maybe you would suggest get put them down in the comments we'd love to hear your suggestions we hope you enjoyed that video please make sure you hit that thumbs up button that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time we post new videos have a great day thanks for watching bye